good morning. It's a Friday morning. It's nine o'clock. Good morning, Mr. Heinrich. This is a random live. Truly at random. I hope you're having a great Friday. I don't know which time zone you're in, but it's uh, it's 9 o'clock here on the East Coast of the United States. And I just thought I would uh, check in and say hello to everyone. And I'm about to dress a wheel, so I thought I would offer to show what I'm doing. Good morning. Pennsylvania. So we're in the same time zone. That's awesome. You have nice weather today? Because around here it looks glorious. It's supposed to get up to 76, which is unseasonably warm for the day. But that means I could be in the shop with the doors open. Anyway, I'll tell you what's going on. Um, I'm getting my day ready here, and I'm about to dress uh, my diamond wheel. And I figured, what the heck? Might as well show everybody what's going on. So let me show you what's happening here. There we go. So we just changed over uh, to, the, to the diamond wheel. Hey, Precisely Imprecise, good morning. Um, <laughs> you know, on the internet, there's a lot of undressing videos. This is a dressing video. Oh, excellent. We're both in warm-up mode here. Anyway, I just put the, the, uh, metal bond diamond wheel on. It's all balanced up. And, uh, I'm about to do my, uh, molybdenum, uh, dressing. So, here... We've got the uh, Kinetic Precision uh, Molybdenum Bar Holder and a uh, piece of, um, I think this is actually, met. no, this isn't metric. This is three-eighths. Hey, Busy Life, welcome aboard. And this is 100% molybdenum. And what I've done is I've taken my Sharpie and I've, uh, I've marked the top. Just hit it again here. All right, so the top of that is is now marked. So when I go to dress, I can see what I'm doing. The wheel is spinning. Uh, this wheel is spinning at 1,200 RPM. Let's take a look. Yep. 1,200 RPM. And we're on the dressing mode. You can tell because the, the light there says it might be blown out. It says dressing. So grinding wheel, dressing. So it's picking up this speed, and that speed is set for 1,200 RPM. Hey, Nick, welcome aboard. So we're spinning the, um, we're spinning the metal bond diamond wheel at 1,200 RPM. The reason we're doing that is that's about 700 surface feet per minute, which is the dressing, uh, the dressing speed for uh, molybdenum. And now I'm going to, let's see, oh, look at that. Mr. Bolivera, welcome. All right, so we're, I got you set up here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my thing, and you guys get to watch. I'm going to close the door here. Hang on, i got to move you. All right. So it doesn't look like it on the camera. Let me move you over a little bit. You're almost dead on center line here. So Nick, we're, we're just waking up. We got the, the grinder warmed up. Um, the wheel is balanced. 
and the wheel's getting dressed, and then I got a bunch of grinding to do for uh, for this fine Friday, kind of a normal Friday. So we're uh, we're set up over our molybdenum, and I um, I've got my head under here so I can see my gaposis. I have plenty of gaposis, so I'm not going to touch my uh, table right now. That's going to stay put. It's very slightly to the left of center. That's very important because uh, for safety reasons. The magnet is on, so we could check that. And uh, we're ready to go. So I'm going to bring the wheel down using my uh, super slow feed just till it touches. And it's amazing how many times you have to turn the wheel when it's on that... Um, 10 million setting. Here we go. And I'm just using my ears. All right, there it is. All right, we're just touching. Okay. Now, I'm going to come over here and zoom you out a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to go th this is the Okamoto software but I'm going to go all the way back into good old Fanuc land, right? And relative and I'm going to go y origin. And now I've got my my down feed right there. Okay? Um and that just lets me keep track. Then I'm going to go over to my vertical feed and I'm going to go up to half a thousandth per click okay so that's five ten thousandths per click on that hand wheel and now we're ready to dress oh one other thing we've got our uh, jog feed rate set at 20 inches per minute okay and that gives us a jog feed I'll show you what that does for us in a second here Get you zoomed in. Okay, so with the jog feed, I could hit a button and it'll feed at whatever rate that was on the front panel. So right now it's set for um, 20 inches. You could hear it just kiss the wheel. And now we're ready to start dressing. So I'm going to turn on the uh, mist collector. As a as a safety thing, as for vacuum, and uh, we'll get going. It get a little noisy here. All right, so the vacuum's on. So I'm going to come down for uh, two thousandths of an inch, and we're gonna we're gonna in feed here, and another two thousandths of an inch. And another two thousandths of an inch. Elishowitz, good morning. So we are molybdenum dressing our diamond wheel. So you may remember from one of our lives, we talked about uh, dressing wear ratio or dressing ratio, <coughs> which is how much the wheel is getting dressed versus how much we're losing um, from our molybdenum. So it looks like I'm uh, dressing a whole bunch off of uh, off of the wheel, but in reality. I'm dressing a percentage of it. Uh, no, actually, uh, you do not use coolant during this process. 
because you actually want the molybdenum to do its thing. And the job of the molybdenum is to act like like mud, sucking your uh, galoshes off as you run through it. So this is done dry. And I could tell by the sound what's going on. And we're probably uh, we're probably there. We took forty thousands. Now the the majority of that forty thousands is coming off of my molybdenum stick, not off the wheel. And I think I'm done. So we took uh, we we downfed forty four thousandths, and we did it two thousandths at a time. Uh, for those of you just joining us, this is this is pure molybdenum, and that is a uh, metal bond diamond wheel, and we're in our little holder puck here. Now, just to show you what's going on, it, it's very hard to see. Let's see if I can show you. You can tell that... All right. This is, this is what's come off, but you, if you move it around, you can see it sparkles. And that might not be too obvious on the video, but I can see sparkles. You know what sparkles are? Sparkles are diamonds. So this absolutely uh, yanked uh, diamonds out of the wheel, and that's what we're here for, okay? So once again, sparkles. If, if we didn't, uh, if this was just ground up molybdenum, and some of this black stuff is ground up molybdenum, you wouldn't see sparkles, okay? So that's it. We're done. This wheel is uh, balanced. This wheel is dressed. And there's one one less one last thing to do here. Normally, I'm going to answer your questions in a sec here. Um, so normally, if we're about to grind like carbide, okay, we would then go in with a dressing stick. Okay, we would go in with a dressing stick to um, to dress down the ma the uh, the bonding material, the matrix, and leaving the diamonds. In other words, the wheel looks like this, and if we if we use the dressing stick, now the wheel looks like this, right? The diamonds uh, poke out more. We don't have to do that because I'm about to grind a whole bunch of P PFG stones. And guess what they're made out of? Okay, but normally, again, if I was about to go do carbide or something, I would hit it with a dressing stick. Um, so that's the process. I will post this video, so don't worry. If you came here a little late, you'll have an opportunity. Uh, Mr. Elishowitz, uh, it is 150 grit diamond. Uh, I do not dress the sides of this wheel. Uh, that's not true. I have dressed the sides, but I don't repeatedly dress the sides. And I just kiss them, and that's it. So yes, I, I have dressed the sides. By the way, when you when you buy one of these um, five hundred dollar wheels, <laughs> uh, you find out what you're paying for. The wheel is just gorgeous. You know, you can measure it. You can you can observe it. So uh, the, the sides were quite nice when I got the wheel. So that's the story. Um, we, uh, once again, we balanced the wheel using our, using a B200 balancing wheel from 
or balancing ring, sorry, from Kinetic Precision, a little company I have. And we, we balance the heck out of it so it's perfectly balanced. And then we go over and we we do our we do our mounting and we do our our dressing. Now, if you were doing truing, you could argue that that's what I just did. I did truing, but not really. If you were tr uh, truing a wheel and you were removing any appreciable amount of, of uh, material, you would go back to balance again, and then you'd come back. The last thing you do is you're dressing the wheel. Um, that's my my new, I used to not have much of a philosophy on that, but I, I think my philosophy is that that is the last thing you do before it hits the work. Um, so we're balanced, we're true, we're dressed, and we're ready to go to work. So there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, um, I think I'm going to end this live and post the video. I might trim the trim the front a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys, there's no magic, there's no mystery, um, but you have to do the preparation in order to get good results out of the diamond wheels. So have a great uh, Friday. I'm going to be working in the shop. I may be doing another uh, random live today, so if you see me pop up, uh, jump in and say hi. But uh, I got a lot of work to do, and I got to ship your stones. <laughs> All right, have fun. Take care, guys.